Today, I wish to transfer 100 microliters of crystal violet into an empty Eppendorf tube. To do so, I have chosen a micropipetter that is a P200. The range of this micropipetter is between 20 and 200 microliters, so I know I have the correct pipetter. The next thing I want to do is to add the pipette tip. Make sure that the tip is securely on the micropipetter. You do not want to be losing your tip in, during the transfer process. The next thing I want to do is to turn the adjustment knob until I have actually reached 100 microliters. As you can see, I am now at 100 microliters. The next thing is to depress the plunger. The plunger has two stops, a first stop and a second stop. When withdrawing a sample, you want to depress the plunger to the first stop. You do not want to go past the first stop as the micropipetter is calibrated based on stopping at that first stop. I am now ready to withdraw some crystal violet. I want to put the pipette tip slightly under the surface of the crystal violet and slowly withdraw my sample by releasing the plunger. You do not want to release the plunger quickly because that could introduce air bubbles into your sample or contaminate the shaft of the micropipetter. The next thing I want to do is to add the 100 microliters of crystal violet into a fresh Eppendorf tube. I will place the pipette tip towards the bottom of the empty pipette tip, tube and with the pipette tip against the side of the Eppendorf tube, I am going to slowly depress the plunger to the first stop, pause, and continue depressing to the second stop. While holding the plunger down, you want to remove the pipette tip from the Eppendorf tube, and at this point, you can release the plunger and eject the pipette tip. I have now successfully transferred 100 microliters of crystal violet from a stocked tube.